So, good morning. Not good morning. Rewind it. Welcome back to the channel. And to get this started, we're going to grab our category 3 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 6 millimeter hook, and we're going to make a chain that is the length of what we want our top to be, keeping in mind that we will have a top band and a waistband. And I'm going to have mine be a little bit flowy, so I'm going to add an extra inch to what I want. So in total, I'm going to make a chain of 9 inches. And just to let you guys know, I am indeed using a 6 millimeter hook instead of the recommended 4 for this Category 3 yarn. And that's only because I want this to be a little bit more flowy instead of having the stitches be so tight. Once we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain with our fingers. You're going to chain up 2, prepare for a half double crochet. Go ahead and half double crochet into that loop that we blocked off, or the third loop from the hook with a half double crochet. I don't know if I already said that, but we're doing half double crochets for this first part. And we're going to half double crochet once into every loop that we have going all the way down our chain. So once we have our first row of half double crochets, we're going to do more rows of half double crochets, and this is going to be the length of the top, so this is going to wrap around you. So we're going to chain up two, flip our work, prepare for a half double crochet, and we're going to be going into the back loops only to get a really pretty ribbing effect. So just as an example, we typically go through both of these loops, but instead of doing that, we're just going to be going in through the back loops, just like so. And then this is how we're going to continue to do the rest of this portion of the top. Super duper easy peasy. Go ahead and turn on your favorite TV show and do this. <laughs> but you will want to measure over the widest part of your chest. So over your bust and then whatever that measurement is, because it does need to fit over your bust, whatever that measurement is, go ahead and add one inch. At least that's what I'm going to be doing because I do want this to be a little bit more flowy. Like I said, if you want this to be form fitting, then don't do it. Do whatever you guys want. But I'll meet you guys back once we have that done. So this is what we got once when I have the length of my top. I have 32 inches. And now we're going to start working on the top band. So from here, since we're already connected, we're going to chain up one. And then as for right now, we're going to be working into all of these side half double crochets. So we're going to be alternating between one to two single crochets. So in the first side half double crochet, we're going to do one single crochet into the next one we're going to be doing two single crochet yeah you see what i'm doing <laughs> in the next one one single crochet in the next one two single crochet and we're going to keep doing this all the way down so once we're done doing our first row of single crochets for the top border next we're going to do a row of double crochet so that is super simple we're going to chain up three flip our work wait for this car to pass Prepare for a double crochet and put one double crochet into every loop that we have going all the way down. So first row for the top band is done and now we're going to do more rows of double crochet but they're going to be front and back loop. No, front and back post double crochets. Don't mind me, it's early. But we're going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. Flip our work, prepare for a double crochet and we're going to be doing a front post. So how you do a front post, you're actually going to go behind this first double crochet post that we have and then double crochet just like normal and that is a front post double crochet and then next we're going to do a back post so we're going to prepare for a double crochet we're actually going to be going behind our work and then going in front of the next post and then double crocheting just like normal and then from here let's do it one more time prepare for a double crochet go behind the next post but in the front double crochet prepare for a double crochet and then go behind our work over double crochet like usual and we're going to continue on with this pattern going all the way down alrighty so we have our row of front and back post double crochets and we are about to finish off the top border we're just going to do one row of single crochets but from here I will be introducing my elastic if you guys don't have elastic don't want to use it it's too much of a bother I get it you guys can actually just uh, you guys can actually just sew in the sides together, and then just use a drawstring if you guys want. That is completely up to you guys. But I just wanted to try something a little bit different, so I'm just going to explain to you how I will be doing this. 
So I went ahead and grabbed this really thin elastic. This is all going to depend on what kind of elastic that you get. So do not take this word for word. This is going to be a you guys testing it out type thing. But I measured the top of my chest and I have 31 inches. But that's not where I cut my elastic. So I don't know why I told you that information. But <laughs> I actually took the elastic and then wrapped it around on top of my chest where this top band is going to be. And then I pulled it so that it was comfortable over my chest and also making sure that it was easy to put on and take off. And then so I ended up having this measurement, which is about 25 inches. But remembering that we're not going to sew this in because this is super thin, we're actually just going to tie it together. So I actually gave myself an extra inch on both sides. So I'm going to tie it about here, but we're going to do that afterwards. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. I know that it can be confusing and I shouldn't be introducing new things, but I like a challenge and I thought that you guys might too. But once when we get here, we're actually going to take our elastic, depending on what kind you have. I'm actually going to be tying it against a, what is this, a safety pin? But you can use a pencil, bobby pin, hell, whatever you want really. But we're just going to do a loose tie just so that it won't fall through. And then from here, let's do it this way. We are going to flip our work. We're going to flip our work and we're actually just going to place this right on top of where we're currently working, keeping the safety pin on the outside. And then from here, we're just going to go back to our work, chain up one. And then we're going to be inserting our hook in through the first loop so that we can start doing our single crochets. But we're going to keep this right next to our work so that this is basically woven into our work as well. So we're just going to hold it right next to the loops that we would go underneath. So how we would do this is insert our hook, making sure that it's going underneath the two loops that we always go into, but also where the elastic is. And then do a single crochet and then you can go ahead and pull. And then that is basically it. So let's do it a couple more times. Single crochet, making sure that the elastic is right next to our work so that it gets woven in so that we don't have to sew it in later. And then we're gonna do this all the way down. But once when it gets shorter, we're actually going to tie a safety pin on the other side and then just work from there, making sure that the safety pin doesn't get lost in the work. And then I'll meet you back once we have that all done. So we are all done doing our row of single crochet where we introduced our elastic. And then from here, we're just going to untie our elastic from our safety pins, making sure that they don't get snapped back into our row of single crochet. And then we're just going to tie it. Once we get here, we're going to go ahead and tie our two elastic pieces together. And we're just going to do a regular knot, but this is going to be the only closure that we have. So go ahead and double, triple, quadruple knot it. Once we've tied our elastic, this is what our work should be looking like. It is connected, but only through the elastic. We haven't connected through the yarn yet. So from here, we're just going to tuck the elastic away for now. We'll weave that in as we work, but we're just going to insert our hook into this first single crochet that we did on the other side. Yarn over, pull through to secure. And then from here, we're just going to be doing a row of single crochet going along this border just to close it all in. So like I said, we're going to be leaving this here or weaving it in as we work. So our first chunk that we have are these side double crochets. So into each of these, what the hell is this? Into each of these side double crochets, we're going to be putting two single crochets. So we're going to insert our hook in through the first side double crochet then in through the second side double crochet. And all we're going to do is just hold our elastic down so that we don't need to weave it in later. And as you can see, it's nice and secure. So we're going to do that one more time into each of these side double crochets. And then we're just going to do that going all the way down. Once we reach the end, we're going to do another band, but this is going to be the waistband. So we just got done doing our single crochet row, closing in the top tube top portion. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the seam. And from here, we're going to be doing the waistband. It's nearly the same as doing the top band, but we're going to do it together anyways. So from here, we're going to do a row of single crochet. So go ahead and chain up one. We're going to be putting one single crochet into the first half double crochet 
and then two single crochet into the next half double crochet one into the next two into the next and keep alternating like that all the way until we get to the end connect with a slip stitch all right so first row of single crochet done you guys know the drill next row is going to be a row of double crochet so chain up three double crochet once into every loop that we have going all the way around connect back with a slip stitch so once we're done our first row of double crochet we are going to introduce our elastic again and this is going to be kind of the same but not really <laughs> as the top but from here i went ahead and measured the same way i did for the top of my bust but i measured my waist you guys don't need this information but i went ahead and cut out 23 inches from here keeping in mind that i did leave an extra inch on both sides so that we can tie it and have that extra little chunk on the side and then i went ahead and already tied my safety pins to each end so from here we're going to do it the same way that we did the first one we're just going to keep one end of the safety pin on the outside and then we're going to keep the elastic close to our work and this is just going to be a row of single crochet so let's show you guys one more time just going to insert your hook making sure our hook goes in through both loops like normal and also keeping the elastic right there as well and then we're going to make our way all the way around once we make our way around we're going to tie the two tail ends of our elastic together and then connect with a slip stitch with our yarn so we are done with our elastic and we have tied it off and as you can see we haven't connected with a slip stitch yet so we're going to go ahead and do that and then from here we're going to do front and back post double crochets and then as for the elastic it can't be woven in well i mean technically it can be woven in with the front and back post double crochets but i don't like the way it looks because the gaps in between the front and back post double crochets are so long you would see the elastic in between so i'm just going to weave this in at the end so I'm not going to do anything with that, but you guys can, you know, do whatever you want with it. <laughs> but from here, we're going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. We're going to prepare for a double crochet. And then since we're here, we're actually just going to disregard this row of single crochet that we did all together. And then go into the double crochet row that we did with front and back post double crochets. And these are going to be the same way that we did the top band. This may be a little bit tricky because of the single crochet row, but I found that this was the best way to do it. So go ahead and do that, and then I'll meet you back once we are done. So this is what we got once we have our first row of front and back post double crochets. And since this is the waist, I'm actually going to be doing one more row of front and back post double crochets. So you guys know how to do this. We're just going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. And then whatever we did in the previous row, we're going to continue on with that type of post. So this first one is a front post double crochet. So we're going to do a front post double crochet into that. The next one is a back. So we're going to do a back and we're going to continue on with that. Once we get backed around, we're going to connect with a slip stitch. So this is what we should have once we have our elastic waistband in the middle. And let me just say, I just tried this on and I am extremely pleased with this so far if you guys want to leave it as a tube top just as is i think that'll look ace as well but we are going to continue because i do want to make this into a dress and so from here we're going to start introducing increases because of our hips because if we keep it like this and it'll just go straight down it won't be as cute yada 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 so we're going to do one more thing to our waistband we're going to chain up one and do a row of single crochet and this is going to be different for everyone but I'm going to be increasing into every 15th loop that I have just to do a little increase because I don't have much of a hip, of hips. Hips, I don't have hips is what I'm trying to say. But obviously if you guys have more, then feel free to increase as much as you need. But from here, we're just gonna put one single crochet into the next 14 loops and then increase into the 15th. And I'll show you how to do that once we get there. So we put 14 single crochets into the first 14 loops of this row and into the 15th I will be increasing and all an increase is is putting two single crochets into one loop and then from here continue putting one single crochet into the next 14 loops and then increase into the 15th but that is just what I'm doing but once we're done doing this row we're going to connect with a slip stitch and then start the dress portion. So we're all done with the top portion and the rest of the dress is actually going to be super duper easy. 
we're going to start off by making a chain and my chain is going to be 25 inches when we measure it, it goes down to my calf but it will shrink to my knees so if you want yours longer then go ahead and make sure you leave extra inches for shrinkage so once when we have our chain we're going to block off the last chain chain up one prepare for a well not prepare we're just going to go into that chain that we blocked off with a single crochet and then we're going to go down this chain with single crochets and i will say that the rest of my skirt will be single crochets which will definitely take a little bit longer but i'm only doing single crochets just to break up the ribbing effect from the half double crochets and the front and back post double crochets but you guys can definitely continue with half double crochets double crochets or you can do something completely different surprise me do whatever you guys want but i'll just show you guys how to connect it to the bottom of the top and then we'll just kind of have at it from there once we're done going down our chain with our chosen stitch, mine is single crochet, we're actually going to slip stitch it into the bottom of the top. So from here, we're just going to go into the next loop with a slip stitch, and that is how we connect it. And then to work our way up to the next one, we're going to chain up one, flip our work, and then we are going to do more single crochets going all the way back down, going into the back loops only so that we can keep our beautiful ridging effect going throughout the entirety of this dress and then this is the rest of the dress so go ahead and keep doing whatever stitch you chose and then i'll meet you back once we're done so we can connect it all together so we just got done doing the entirety of the skirt and this is what it should look like i did fold it over but as you can see they're not connected we're just going to connect them now and you want to make sure that both of the seams are on the same side so the seam for the top is right over here and then we're just gonna make sure that it's on the same side so that once we flip it inside out all of the seams are on the inside but now we're just gonna connect it and this is going to be the exact same way whether if you end over here like me or if you end on the other end all you're going to do is take your hook insert your hook in through the first loop that you have and insert your hook into the first loop on the other side of the skirt you're just gonna single crochet to secure it Let's do that one more time, once into the first side of the skirt, once into the second, and single crochet. And that is basically it, super duper easy. We're going to keep doing this all the way until we get to the bottom, and then we're going to cut and tie. And once we've single crocheted all the way down, closing our skirt, now all we have to do is weave in all of our ends. This is our finished crochet tube top dress. I got a request for a dress that didn't have a plunging back and I immediately thought of this ribbed tube top dress. Mainly because I used to have a dress that was really similar to this and I actually regret getting rid of it because it was so pretty and so comfy. But as every maker says, I can make that. But hopefully y'all love this dress as much as I do. I'm super duper excited about it. So if y'all post your creations of it, please tag me on Instagram at tcddiy. I would love, 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 love to see them. So if you like this piece or any other piece on the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It's right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the videos and it goes a long way towards helping the channel grow and gain more traction. But if you didn't like it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs down. But also please leave a comment letting me know why you didn't like it so that I can improve. But also if you just have some questions or requests or if you just want to say hi, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. I usually reply pretty quick. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's right beneath the video. It'll let you know when a new video is uploaded to the channel, get you a bit more priority for requests, and it goes a long way to helping the channel grow so that I can keep making all these great videos for you guys. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. But also please hit that notification bell to know when there's a new upload right away. And also please don't forget to share with your crafty friends. Every bit helps. Links to the yarn and hooks will be in the description if you guys buy something that also goes towards helping out the channel. And lastly, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.